oh no, there's a cloud in the sky. I think it's going to eat our world. I think we should fear clouds now. Hey guys, this is Frozen Wish Studios here, and welcome back to another movie review. And today, I'm going to be doing a review on Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. So, Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer is the second installment in uh, the uh, Marvel in the first Marvel Fantastic Four OG duology, which was supposed to be a trilogy, but unfortunately, they never made a third film. I think it. It got cancelled and replaced with uh, the, the reboot. Uh, and uh, it came out in the year 2007 and is directed once again by Tim Story. And it stars Yoan uh, Grufford, uh, Jessica Alba, Chris Evans, Michael Chiklis, uh, Julian McMahon, Doug Jones, Lawrence Fishburne, Kerry Washington, Andre Brogher, uh, Bo Garrett, uh, Brian Posen, et cetera. And so the um the film tells the story of uh, this uh, meteorite uh, thingy or cosmic thingy, whatever it's called. Uh, well, I mean, whatever they refer to it as, but it it's essentially the the Silver Surfer that is pretty much trying to uh a- affect the uh, power in the world. Like it, it causes a uh, power surge, and so yeah um it and so it's up to the Fantastic Four to pretty much find out where it is uh, and. But meanwhile, the, the Fantastic Four is are busy, uh, because uh, busy like outside of the superhero life because Reed and Sue are getting are getting ready for for their wedding, uh, their wedding, um, and yeah, so yeah, once they have their wedding, uh, they are pretty much being warned that uh, warned uh, that um about the cosmic, and uh, eventually they they try uh, to investigate what it is, but they. Um, it takes them a while to actually figure out that it, it's a Silver Surfer. But in the middle of for uh, Reed and Sue's wedding, uh, the, the the cosmic or the co- uh, co- comes into play and, and, and pretty much uh, threatens uh, them. Um, threatens them and, and, and ruins uh, their wedding. And so uh, they eventually find out that the, that the cosmic thing is actually the, the Silver Surfer. And they, they, they must uh, catch the Silver Surfer. In, in order to pretty much find out what he wants but yeah um, they see him as you know an earth you know, they see him as like a villain uh, but essentially he, he he's an anti-hero he he's done villainous things he serves a he serves a bigger he's, he serves an evil master but but the, the whole reason why he comes into earth is uh, to uh stop uh, it, it is um to toward everyone that galactus is coming uh uh, yeah, um, because Silver Surfer eventually serves Galactus, uh, but actually wants to betray him. And so, yeah, um, the Fantastic Four also has this uh, power switch up thingy where, like, you know, they, they can actually swap po- powers with powers with another member. And then also, you, you got the the return the return of Doctor Doom, uh, who or rather Victor. Yeah, he he was mainly Victor in this film. Who apparently wants uh Silver Surfer's uh, um surfboard uh, to harness more power, but but in order to do that, he he must uh he must manipulate the the um, military to actually let him help uh the the Fantastic Four and also the military too. So yeah, uh, now um, now as for a recap of my thoughts on the first film, uh, yeah, it's still pretty bad. I know that this movie has its defenders, and even, even all all the comments I I received it in in my review of the first Fantastic Four movie from two thousand five, uh, they all praised uh, the movie. I'm not really praised, but they 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 defend the movie and, and 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 called it underrated, and and I can totally see where they're coming from. I was really hoping uh, that 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 I would like uh, the that Fantastic Four film, but I'm sorry, it's just. Not my cup of tea, and, and I couldn't get, get get into it. And yeah, I fear now that even when uh, the MCU Fantastic Four movie, uh, comes out, uh, yeah, people are are uh, still going to say that that that's still the best Fantastic Four movie film. But I hope that. I hope that the, uh, uh, Fantastic Four first steps will, will be uh, unanimously agreed upon to be the the best Fantastic Four film. And while we are talking about a Fantastic Four film that introduces the the, the Silver Surfer to the big screen, I just want to uh, share my uh, quick thoughts on 
the female silver, silver surfer uh shala bal because i don't think i've ever uh mentioned her on my channel yet i know um yeah people are mad about it yeah that, that has uh, received controversy when they revealed that uh, they were going to make a uh, silver surfer a female and julia garner is playing her that has caused lots of backlash uh, yeah so yeah so much backlash yeah uh uh, and up to the point where people are already calling uh the Fantastic Four movie woke, and yeah, they they all just suddenly confirmed that that there will never be a good Fantastic Four film, and then for some reason uh some started started to get excited for it again, uh, but honestly, I defend it. Yeah, I mean, just because she she's a female uh, d doesn't mean you, you should just go uh lash out. And Julia Garner is a great actress, so and I and I can actually see her playing the role. Sure, I'll admit, I actually am disappointed that, that it's not Anya Terry Joy because I actually did hear a rumor that Anya Terry Joy was going to play uh, Shot Labal, the female silver surfer. Julia Garner is great too, but again, but actually, on reflection, I don't mind that because I mean, there are better roles that Anya Terry Joy can play in the MCU. Um, I'm hoping now, I'm hoping for Black Cat uh, in Spider Man 4, but yeah. Um, I don't care what the uh, sexist and the uh, woman misogynists say. I think uh, Shia Bob will be the, will be the greatest uh, Silver Surfer, and it's probably going to be one. She's probably going to be one of my favorite things in the film, alongside uh, Vanessa Kirby as uh, Invisible Woman, and also Galactus as well. Um, so yeah, um, now yeah, when it comes to you know, this uh, film, this sequel that introduced the uh, the Silver Surfer. Yeah, this uh, uh, received uh, just as bad of a reviews as uh, the f uh, as its predecessor. Um, critics have said that, that that this is better. Well, Rotten Tomatoes critic, it, it it does have have a higher score of Rotten Tomatoes uh, th than uh, the first film. Uh, but it's still negative. Uh, however, um, it, internet people um uh, like in a lot of your sites, a lot of comments. They say that th this is worse than than the first film. I think it's a uh, majority uh, of people say say, say that the, that this is inferior to the original Fantastic Four film. And uh, their criticisms is, is you know how messy it is. Uh, the the film didn't know what I wanted to focus on, and and also the fact that Doctor Doom was in this un unnecessarily. And yeah, I and. For a long time, I actually have you know, uh called this a better than the first than the first film, but but eventually I was asking myself, maybe I, I am I sure that this is actually better than the first film, or is it big just because of Rotten Tomatoes? Because I met back then, I actually had this case of constantly agreeing with Rotten Tomatoes with whatever it is uh, they they say, uh, whether it's they prefer the you know this or that, unless if it's like recent stuff for. Uh, then normally, yeah, I, I, I'm a recency bias type of guy. Like, yeah, I, I don't always follow um, everything your other male says. So, uh, yeah, but if it's he goes better in the first film, then normally I agree with them. But that was me back then. But now I'm like more open minded. So I was very open minded when, when I rewatched this movie today. And uh, what do I think of this film? Um, yeah, I um. I actually still think it's better than the first film. Yeah, I'm totally siding with Rod with the Rotten Tomato score. That it is. Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, it is a tad bit be better than the first movie. Yeah, better than predecessor. But it's still bad. Yeah, it's still uh, pretty bad. Yeah, I still don't like this movie. Yeah, yeah. I guess you know it. It's hard for Fox to to, to get Fantastic Four right uh, because. Not only did we have your know, two um bad Fantastic Four films, so with this and the this predecessor, but we we especially got the Doom, that is uh, that is uh the Fan Four Stick reboot. Oh, oh. which don't worry, guys, I will tear that film to pieces uh tomorrow, but for now let's just see you know, focus on this film. Um, yeah, despite Rise of the Silver Surfer being. On default, my favorite Fantastic Four film. Well, my favorite Fox Fantastic Four film because I already know that the uh, fan the Fantastic Four first steps, yo, know, aka the the MCU's Fantastic Four reboot, will be the the best one by, by a landslide. But yeah, this is the the, the best of, of the 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 Fox uh, Fantastic Four films. Almost an excellent, but yeah, Fantastic Four and yeah. Now let's get into what exactly I liked about this film. What. Makes this one slightly better. 
Um, the thing that I, the only thing that actually makes this better than the first film to me is the action. If it wasn't for that, um, it's um, it, it would have been worse than the first film. But I will say there are some objective elements that I can see are wor worse are done worse here than, than in the first film, which I'll get to. But just a few things that this movie got better. Definitely the action. I made sure um the the first film had solid action, especially the the final battle. But this one takes itself to takes itself to to a whole new level. Um. Yeah, a whole new level. Uh, sure. Uh, there's not a lot of action. And I do wish there's more action. But whenever we 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 do get action, it's actually really good though. From, uh, Stor from you know uh Johnny Storm uh from Human Torch uh, chasing uh after the Silver Surfer and then the Silver Surfer uh. Pretty much, you know, um, choking him and, and taking him all all the way to space, uh, just to like throw him down down on, on Earth. Uh, yeah, that was great. And then we and then we even got like you know um, this forest battle, and then we also got you know um, yeah the the Fantastic Four versus the Doctor Doom scene with Doctor Doom on the 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 Silver Surfboard, the, and also the final battle where 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 they had to uh, face Galactus. Uh, yeah, um, those those were great uh, scenes right there. Uh, great action scenes right there. They're actually a lot bigger, a a hell lot bigger. Um, and another thing that that makes this one uh better than the first film is that it's not as boring. Sure, yes, it is slow paced. The, yeah, the the pacing of this film is quite slow. Uh, just like the the first film, it does take take a, no wait, not like the first film. My bad. I mean. Slow in a way where it does t t take a while to actually get going. It takes like thirty minutes of, uh, of the film uh, to um to get to the first action scene, and just by uh, the 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 fact that um this this is only a ninety minute mo movie uh the first action scene, action scene happens when uh um pretty much you have like less than an hour left before the film ends. So yeah, th that's how pretty damn slow it was. Uh, um, but then there are some elements. Uh, it it does have you know, the same good good elements uh, from 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 the first film. Like the team is um. How do I say it here? Um, the team does have have, have as great of a chemistry as in the first film. Yeah, sure. They they still bicker and argue a lot, and and they they don't really grow as characters. Yeah, the, the movie doesn't really do much to grow them, but um, it's. But uh, at least I was still able to care about them, and remember when 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 I uh, bashed uh, the the CGI of the thing in the first film and called it like horrible. Well, I actually got used to to do it now to looking at the thing in, in this CGI. In fact, I'm probably uh forgiving to uh, him in the first film now. Well, not saying much. It's still a two out of five movie, but I would for for forgive a CGI now. Uh. I think their chemistry here is a tad bit stronger because, uh, you know, they actually work together more and they're not just like overly ar relying on arguing just like in the first film. Although I will say that Invisible Woman, uh, my favorite Fantastic Four character, was inferior uh, in this film uh, than in the first film. I mean, she still kind of is my favorite character in this film, but uh, yeah, I mean, I don't like uh, some... There are, like there's like something I don't like about her. There's like one flaw I had with, with her character, but, but I'll get to it later on. Um and um yeah. Also, yeah, the Silver Surfer is actually pretty good. Yeah, sure. I, I still do I stopped my voice earlier. I do think um Shalabel, the Julia Gardner's uh, female server silver surfer in the MCU's reboot will be better than uh this film's uh, Silver Surfer. But at least, um, it's still, well, he's still a pretty good character. Doc Jones does, uh, Doc Jones d does, uh, deliver a very, like, good mo motion capture performance as, uh, the Silver Surfer. And, uh, I, I like his, you know, uh, character arc, uh, because he's actually not really a villain, but rather an anti-hero who's just, uh, wanting to betray his master, Gatos, uh, and I, I like that kind of anti-hero. I always saw him as a villain, but... I mean, every time I watch this movie, I know that, that he's, he's an anti-hero, but I always, like, think, remember him as a villain. But now, I, I'm more... I'm, like, completely aware now that he's actually not really a villain, but rather an anti-hero. 
or rather the, that that's in this film. I'm not sure if Silver Surfer is actually meant to be a villain or not. In the comics, uh, let me know that down below in the comments uh, to tell me if he's like really a villain or not or a hero. But that's all for the things I I liked about this film. Now let's get into my problems with the film. The things that makes this the Still a bad film, despite being the best Fantastic Four film by default so far. Okay, yeah, the writing. Oh dear lord, the writing. Honestly, uh, when it comes to you know, the writing standpoint, is it this is even worse than, than the writing in the first film? Sure, sure, the writing in 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 the first film is is bad, and because of how you know boring and sluggish it was, but at least uh, it had a straightforward story. Well. This story uh, is actually the story in this in this film is actually a little more uh, straightforward than the people say. Yeah, in fact, one of the, one of the common uh, criticisms I, I hear from other people is that this movie uh, is extremely messy. It has way too many going on, and it doesn't know what, what exactly it wants to do. I ask, ask, did we ask? Uh, did we watch the same movie? Because I don't think uh, I don't think that there were way too many plot lines going on. Uh, yeah, sure, there may be some plot uh, with, you know, the Doctor Doom stuff and the uh, Fantastic Four switching power stuff, which, yeah, both of them were problematic. But at least they were able to connect to the main story. Um, Sure, yeah, the, the Fantastic Four switching power is taking us, like, you know, it's just there to be cool, to make the movie look cool, to make these characters look cool, but that's about it. It doesn't have anything to serve as a story. But the idea of bringing Doctor Doom back to... uh. And, and Doctor Doom uh, forcing the military to, to help him, uh, to let him help uh, them and uh, the Fantastic Four just so he can get his hands on, on the surfboard uh, and, 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 and betray everyone later on. Um, at least it does connect to you know, the, the Silver Surfer storyline. But at least it has a main story. Um, at least it, it does have a main story. And, and, and that main story is... Um, the Silver Surfer coming to Earth in order to 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 warn everyone, uh, to warn everyone. It just uh, took everyone a while to like trust him before he'd actually speak up against the Galactus. Yeah, thank God for Sue Star trusting, trusting him. But the main problem with with the writing is the dialogue. Oh dear Lord, the dialogue. Seriously, the the dialogue is just laughably bad, and it actually affects the story, the writing in some ways, in, in a lot of ways. A lot of the dialogue in this film consists of exposition dump where the characters have to explain to the audiences on what's going on. And don't get me started on uh, on the conversation between Sue, um, Invisible Woman, and Silver Surfer. Why the fuck does Sue have to talk to the Silver Surfer like as if she's talking to a child? Like, it, 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 it's just like so ridiculous. Uh, and yeah, like I said, yeah, the film does start off slow, but... It, it takes a while to get going, but yeah, at least it's not as boring as the first film. Doctor Doom is once again treated like a joke, just like in the first film. And w why the fuck would would, would the military trust Doctor Doom only for him to betray the later on? I mean, Reed, Reed Reed Richards knew that that was gonna happen, and, and he warned them. I right? like Reed Richards. Reed Richards like don't trust Doctor Doom. You're you're making a mistake. But then apparently the military uh, turn turns against uh, Mister Fantastic. Not very well explained why, but. Yeah, it was it was way too obvious that Doctor Doom was going to betray them. It was so stupid, and yeah, Doctor Doom is just the same old. Uh, Julia McMahon once again gives a very uh, weak performance uh, as a character. Not a fan of it, uh, but the worst sin that this movie committed is how they treated Galactus. I mean, as poorly handled as Doctor Doom is, uh, Galactus is fucking worse. Because he's a fucking cloud, which that is not Galactus. I mean, Galactus is is one of like pretty much it's one of the most powerful villains because he's one of the most powerful Marvel villains. Sure, he's not as part he's not as popular as Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom is one is one of the most popular and iconic of Marvel villains that apparently Fox keeps screwing up. But Galactus is actually more powerful. He's Arguably more powerful than Thanos because he's actually a planet eater. He's just, he's this uh, giant who eats planets. He he devours planets. Uh, and and yeah, uh, Galactus it is meant to be like a giant, like mo like man something like that like man and, and he's like about the size of a god. 
Vine has found me the freaking cloud. <laughs> you turn up one of your most powerful villains uh, to um, a cloud. Wow, congratulations, Fox. You fucked up two of your most powerful villains. I, and Silver Surfer is the only good uh, villain that, 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 that came out of Fox Fantasy Four, But he's not even a villain in this movie. He was an anti-hero. So, like, what's the point of saying he's the only good villain when he's not that much of a villain? Yeah. Fox is just so pathetic. And it was just so... Uh, it was just so uh, laughable. Like, like really, that, that what a joke. Like, I can't get over how uh, stupid it is, huh? Well, thank God the Fantastic Four first steps uh, is already getting Galactus right. Uh, yeah, because I actually did watch uh, the uh, a leaked uh, footage of, of you know, the Fantastic Four you know, trailer. Like, they show you know, a footage of, of the Fantastic Four first steps in uh, the comic Con, and someone did post a leaked recording of it, uh, and they did show an image of Galactus, like, and I gotta say, yeah, they already got, got Galactus right, and with Ra Ralph in his son, uh, voicing uh, uh, Galactus, that is peak casting right there, so yeah, I think Galactus, Galactus is gonna be one of my favorite characters in, in, uh, you know, the Fantastic Four reboot, but he's certainly the worst, quote unquote, character in this movie if he even is one because he's just a freaking cloud yeah what a joke yeah probably the the worst uh sin that that pretty much this entire duology has you know committed yeah so overall the fan fantastic four um rise of silver surfer is so I, is by a margin the, the the best fantastic four film but that's not saying much because this movie is still bad well, at least it does have fun action, and, and it's n probably the, the the least boring of them all, which is what elevates this uh, from the first book. It still has, you know, um, has terrible writing with uh, with absolutely cringy dialogue. Doctor Doom just being there for no reason. He shouldn't have been there. A uh, power switch up, you know, subplot that, that, that felt pointless. And pretty much Galactus is the main reason why this movie is bad. Yeah, yeah. What they did to Gal Galactus, that was so unforgivable. So with that said, I'm going to give uh, Fantastic Four: Rise of the Silver Surfer two stars out of five. Mediocre movie. Honestly, if it wasn't for Galactus, uh, this movie w w would have gotten a two and a half out of five. If if, if either they, they got Galactus right or you didn't put him put him in, in at all. So yeah, well, um, at least it, this isn't the the worst uh, superhero of 2007, that would be uh, Spider Turn 3, aka the worst Spider Man movie ever made, period. But yeah, um, but yeah, um, 2007 is, is definitely n not, not a year for superhero films. Yeah, there were four uh, Marvel movies that, that, that came out this in, in that year, and they range from average to um, to bad. Um, yeah, um, I would personally rank uh, Ghost Rider and uh, the La X Men: The Last Stand over this one. Ghost Rider being by default the my favorite superhero from two thousand seven. At least it's possible. It's somewhat fun, uh, but it's uh, it's rather okay than great. Yeah, I I'm actually uh, pretty uh, neutral towards uh, Ghost Rider. Uh, Ghost Rider and Last Stand. You already know my thoughts, but I take Last Stand any day over this film, even if I gave this one a two and a half out of five. So yeah, that's all for my review of it, uh, of Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer. What are your thoughts on the film? Well, I'm sure everybody agrees that this is at least uh, far superior to uh, the uh, shitty-ass uh, reboot from 2015. But do you agree with me that this is better, slightly better than the first film? Or do you, or do you think that, that it's inferior to the first film? Comment down below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for my extreme rant on Fan Force Day 2015. I'm actually debating if I, if I should title it to an extreme rant or extreme epic rant, but you'll see what the consensus, consensus I, I came up with. But oh boy, where's me not sitting through a rewatch of that disaster? So yeah, bye guys.